Hello church, Pastor Tammy here and it is time for Friday's devotional. Now as you know, last week we started a new segment in our memory verse series. It's actually titled, Listening, the Word of God and Prayer. Now these two topics, the Word of God and Prayer, are actually the connection in bringing us closer to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and it prepares us in our daily living. We gain the knowledge of God and His wisdom, which enables us to go out and talk more about all the things that we have learned. In fact, the third article of the Church of the Nazarene states, we believe in the plenary inspiration of the Holy Scriptures, by which we understand the 66 books of the Old and New Testaments given by divine inspiration, inerrantly revealing the will of God concerning us in all things to our salvation. Now, last week's memory verse came from 2 Timothy 3.16. This verse actually describes the author and its benefits. All scripture is God-breathed, and it is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. As I said earlier, we gain knowledge and wisdom. Now, this week's memory verse comes from Joshua 1.8. Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will prosper and be successful. Now, I had to reread this verse again. I have read it many times, but it hit me how amazing this statement is because it talks about what life can be like by consuming God's Word. Now I paraphrase the author. He talks about how this verse, and it is easily seen, has three commands and it has two promises. The first of the three commands is God's law must be with you always. That's why we're doing this memory verse series. He says to meditate on his word day and night. In the Hebrew word, that actually means to utter. So it's a constant going back and forth, putting his word in us as we also say it to ourselves and to others. And then also to live out his word. What we have learned should be the actions of our daily lives. Now, the first of the two promises, if we are obedient, to these commands, we will prosper. The second is that we will succeed in life. Now our minds become more improved the more we are in God's Word and we become what is called God conditioned. We think more as He thinks, uh, looking at life from His point of view. As we're transformed by the renewing of our thoughts, we become successful in those things that God appoints us to do. All of this is for the love of Christ. Let's pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, I come to you and I lift up holy hands to you and I praise your holy name. I am so grateful, Lord, once again, for the time that you have given us to dig deep into your words, Lord. I am so grateful, Lord, for the meaning of these verses, how they can penetrate our hearts, how they can change our minds, Lord. And as we gain knowledge and wisdom of your word, Lord, we are able to step out and speak more in confidence about who you are and what you have planned for your children. I am grateful, Lord, that you want nothing more than for us to have success in our lives. And how do we do that? by knowing your word and living out your word, Lord. Thank you so much again for this day. I love you, Lord, and I pray all things in your precious name, Lord Jesus. Amen. Church, we will see you on Sunday. Have a very blessed day.